Take a look at the latest numbers here on your Monday morning on uh, the race for governor. Katie Hobbs maintaining a lead sitting at 51% of the vote over GOP nominee Carrie Lake. Attorney General Chris Mays and Abe Hamaday both virtually tied both at 50%. Uh, Mays has a few more points uh, when you look at the numbers. Another one that has been so tight is uh, Superintendent of Public Instruction. A uh, virtual tie here sitting at 50% of the vote, but Kathy Hoffman is uh, in the lead slightly over uh, former Superintendent Tom Horn. So after counting more than a million ballots, uh, we're finally in the home stretch, they say. Maricopa County says there are less than 100,000 ballots left to be counted. So how many? Uh, when will we get those numbers? Uh, so these very, very close races. Uh, will they be called in the next day or two? Kylie is live outside the tabulation center with the very latest. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Olivia, and good morning, Scott. Today is to, expected to be the last day of a big batch of results, and typically we get that about 6.30 or so every night. And so that could be a telling sign, especially with some of these close races where right now we do not know who is going to win. A little less than 1.5 million ballots have been tabulated here in Maricopa County, and officials say that they are about 94% complete. So we are inching toward the finish line. We know it was a busy weekend for the tabulation center and the election workers. They tabulated close to 100,000 ballots yesterday, making Sunday's drop the largest since Election Day. There is still, though, an estimated 85 to 95,000 ballots still remaining. Many of those are early ballots that still need to be processed and tabulated. We talked to Megan Gilbertson with the County Elections Department about this process and where they stand right now. What I will tell you is this is fast for Maricopa County. It usually takes us anywhere between 10 and 12 days to complete the count, and we think we're going to be done by the end of this week. So the question that remains, will today's last big drop in Maricopa County change the results? Republicans did close the gap yesterday in some tight races, but do they have enough votes to catch up to Democrats? According to political experts, our Dennis Welch spoke to last night in the race for governor. Republican Carrie Lake needs to get 58 percent of the remaining votes statewide in order to catch up to Democrat Katie Hobbs. And the counting might not be over this week. When we are looking ahead, a new state law here shows that if there is a margin of victory of a half of a percent or less, it will trigger an automatic recount. That is new for this election season, meaning with some of these tight races, we could see recounts and election workers could be working, Scott and Olivia, through December, potentially right up around Christmas. So uh, lots to come here at the election center. And again, we should have a better idea of where things stand after that last big drop of ballots is expected to be released tonight. We'll send it back to you. All right, Kylie, thank you. And last night, by the way, uh, the campaign manager for Katie Hobbs releasing a statement stopping short of claiming victory. But this reads in part with the latest tabulation results from Maricopa, Pinal and Pima counties. Katie Hobbs is the unequivocal favorite to become the next governor of Arizona.